Guru Vaishnavas would say, the Shringadev, Prahlad, both came for the father in you know, Anikashipu. The Shringadev didn't come to save Prahlad. Prahlad was already safe. Everything else didn't hurt him. Why was Hiranyakashipu now? He's like, in, he himself is like a t- yelling, oh, how are you so powerful? And now I'm going to punch you? What's that going to do? If all the demons couldn't hurt him, boiling oil couldn't hurt him, the snakes, the elephant, throwing him off a cliff, all that couldn't hurt him. And now Hiranyakashipu is going to hurt Prahlad? You think it's possible? So Nishingadev came to save Prahlad? Yes, this is conventional understanding for those who, but this is true in one sense, but already he was pure protected. You can't hurt someone who doesn't have it in their karma, but also whose God is protecting. There's many stories we'll tell. Even your bad karma may be there, but God wants to protect you through Guru and Sadhu. They don't care even bad karma. Bad karma is nothing to them. Ah, it's like if you have a ticket, right? You have a, like a parking ticket, bad karma, parking ticket. But there's some important work you're doing for like the federal government and they need you for something. You say, okay, but you got to get rid of all my parking tickets. <laughs> 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 then I'm going to help you. Okay, parking tickets gone. Bad karma gone. Now what do you want? Right? Bad karma is nothing. There's many stories about this. We don't have time now. Many stories. Bad karma. <laughs> powerful sadhu, powerful guru. This is useless. Your desire is valuable. Your greed is valuable. Your faith is valuable. Karma. Bhagavad Gita says there's five topics. Karma, time, the Lord, God, the soul, and what? Moksha. The point is that of these five, karma is easy to transcend. It's temporary. The principle of karma is eternal. But if you yourself, ah, through bhakti yoga, easily cross over. Can easily cross over. But where is God? Hiranyakashi Prahlad said, oh, the Lord was very soft and gentle and beautiful. This beautiful, ferocious, you've seen the picture of ferocious Nishingadev lion, right? But the boy saw him, oh, like my dear beloved friend. Like sometimes kids who are afraid of monsters, right? Have a teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> ferocious, powerful. But to them, protector, guardian. Nishingadev to Prahlad? Oh, everyone was afraid. Brahma afraid, Indra afraid, Lakshmi afraid. Everyone's shaking. Not a Shingadev. No one, not Admuni. No one would approach him. They said, Prahlad, you go. Prahlad, you go. <laughs> <laughs> and he came up and the Shingadev was busy like devouring all these warriors and demons and uh, throwing them all aside. Uh, why sometimes God has anger because of all this nonsense and he just wants to remove it? Transcendental anger. Right? Ugra Nishringa. Ugra means ah. But Prahlad came up, oh, and Shingadev became like soft as butter. It said that his fingernails looked very sharp, but they were just like lotus petals. Beautiful lotus petals. And then Prahlad came on his lap, and now Nishingadev, he himself began to caress and, and weep. And later on, he said, okay, let's go. They went to a beautiful place called Nishringapalli, took a bath in this beautiful lake created by the demigods. And then Lakshmi Devi made this very nice sweet rice. And Prahlad was going to offer to Nishringadev. But Nishringadev said, no, I'm going to feed you. Right? Generally, we make offering to God. He said, no, now I'm going to feed you first, and I'll take your food. So he began to feed him. Imagine how gentle his hand must, must be. He can feed this little baby, five-year-old baby Prahlad. Big Nishringadev is feeding him. <laughs> <laughs> right? And it said with his tongue, he licked his head. Like a lioness licks her cubs. Bhagavatam says like that. Nishringadev licked Prahlad with so much affection. Like a lioness will lick her cubs. Right? So we talked about this last night also. A little bit. But then, next day, Day after, right? Nishinga Chaturdasi and then Radharaman. Right? Today is Radharaman appearance day. To show he is not so scary, not so fearsome. And that Leela is there, that pastime is there, that need was there. But God is one, God is not many. Right? So he's also Radharaman. <laughs>